Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends and glad you could attend. And come inside today as we start our review of Palooza of the films from the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. Yes, I had the pleasure of attending the event this past weekend, a two-day event this year, and I got to see some great independent horror shorts and a few independent horror features. All of them were entertaining, and I want to bring my reviews of those films to you. Now, I've actually reviewed a few of the films that did show at the festival. I'll put a link down below or somewhere around here of those films that I've already covered uh, that ended up showing up at the festival, but we've got a long list of films yet to cover. That's why we've got Review of Palooza 2013 of the films of the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. Now, we're starting off with two of the films today. One of them, uh, both of them are shorts, and one of them called Estella Bueo. It's from 2012 and it's written and directed by Lori Bowen who gives us the story of a family who enlists the help of Stella Bueo played by Lene Quigley who is a medium who is there to help them raise the dad of the family up from the grave. He is taken too soon and they'd like to talk to him again and so uh, Stella Bueo helps them but things don't exactly go the way the family plans on it to happen and some pretty gruesome things start to occur. I really enjoyed this film. Uh, it was a great start off to the festival. Now, it, the production value in that is, is low. It's a, a low independent budget film, but they did great with what they had. And I will say the gore effects in here were fantastic. Definitely had that kind of 70s horror feel to it uh, with the gore that they showed and the, the type of story it was. So I really enjoyed that. There's some great performances in here, especially by uh, Melanie Robel. Uh, she plays Julie, kind of the main person of the uh, family or uh, we follow her mostly through the film and I, I really loved her performance but everybody does really well with the script they have it's a fun little film I really enjoyed it uh, I tried to look online it's not available online anywhere but if I can find the trailer I'll post a link down below but Stella Boyle was still a solid fun horror film and it was a great way to start this festival off I really enjoyed it and I hope you can catch it at a festival too because uh, it is it is enjoyable and it's great to always see Lene Quigley on the big screen. Now, another one, this one came from the UK. It's called One Careful Owner. It's directed by Mike Track. Uh, Tack, excuse me, which is directed by Mike Tack, and uh, we get the story of a sale, a car salesman who gets a very picky customer that shows up on his lot one day. Well, <laughs> soon he comes to find out this customer wants more than just the car. He wants a little bit of revenge, and we see what happens here. This is a revenge story, which surprised me quite a bit. As it picks up through the middle towards the end of the film, it starts to get really brutal. Not really torture porn though because it's explained why these gruesome events are happening to this individual and I really liked that I liked how they explained it and I liked how it, it just bordered on just a, maybe a little too long with the torture uh, but at least they had some justification behind it, it was a, it's a fun revenge story and it's always great to see foreign cinema enter in the mix and in independent film because uh, they really get some wild ideas and this one definitely had you guessing for a while of exactly what was going on. So uh, that's one careful owner from director Mike Tack and Stella Boyo brought to you by director and writer Lori Bowen. Two fun independent shorts and they were a great way to start off the festival and a great way to start off our review of Palooza. Stick around folks we got plenty more reviews coming at you and as always till next time keep that ticket stuff.